Well, hello there, everybody. Today we're going to be drawing a nice, quick, simple, easy picture of Naruto. So go ahead, grab yourself a simple piece of paper at home, get yourself a cheap pencil as well. I just use a mechanical one. And start off by drawing a nice big circle right in the middle of your page. Now, I like to build up a circle by drawing lots of smaller little guidelines to get that circular shape. And this is going to be the main part of Naruto's head. So go straight down the middle and divide that in half. And then keep going through. Take about half of this circle's height and keep going another distance down the bottom so that we've got basically the circle is now two thirds of the overall height. Come down off of the outside edge of the circle ever so slightly inwards at a slant. And as you do the same on both sides, and get about halfway down this point here, then you can start to take that slanted angle right down and inwards towards the chin. And this is a fairly simple way that we construct most male anime faces. Start off with a circle and then build up the bottom part. Now, with this actual circle shape, if you go about two thirds of the way down this circle and draw in a guiding line there, so it's almost exactly where the side of the head, the cheek lines meet up, that is going to indicate that our features and lines are going to be below there. And most of this zone will probably be where Naruto actually has his headband. So what we can do again is now go up and maybe just clip off the top quarter maybe of this circle and draw in another line across. And this is roughly where we're going to have some various bits going on. Is it all in focus? It is indeed. So diving straight in, you can uh, start to build up some very basic shapes. You can grab Naruto's ears. There's one about here, comes down like so. So I'm starting from this cross line to create an ear shape. And it's not coming any lower than the bottom of this circle. And I'll just do the same thing on this side as well, like so. And we can start to fit in Naruto's eyes. Now, they're going to be in the middle portion of these zones that we've created. So it's going to be about one eye width apart. And each eye width is going to stay a good distance away from the side of the head. And then Naruto's eyes, they start on the top outside edge. And then they mostly go across and then they dip down in the last minute onto the inside edge like this. And then on the underside, they go down first and then they come across like so. So if you can draw these kind of almond shapes where you go really from the bottom inside corner up to the top outside corner, then that gives you an idea of the overall direction and shape of the eyes. Lovely. Now with Naruto, we're going to put some nice big pupils in roughly like so. And they're going to be floating so that they touch the tops of the eyelids. Might even be slightly covered at the top, but they're not touching any other part of the eye around the bottom. And then he usually has very small pupils. So I'll put a little circle in the middle of each of these. And then maybe a little bit of outside edge line like so. Then. The tops of these are going to be cut straight in with some eyebrows. So we're going to get to go to around about down here because these eyebrows come in fairly low on Naruto. And they're just going to shoot straight up and off. Around about here. And then again, straight up and off. For the most part, they're going to be hidden under the visor. But they do have a thickness. So draw that in as well. And then you can get yourself a guiding line that comes off one eyebrow, still to the left of the center line, and just comes down a touch. And that just indicates a bit of line where the nose is drawn in. So with that in mind, for the nose, stay right down the middle, go past where we've got the bottom line of the circle and just a little bit below, you can just pop in on the either side of each line, a little nostril mark, just for the bottom part of Naruto's nose. And then if you imagine exactly halfway between the nostril and the chin, that's where we're gonna have a mouth. There's something that goes across like so. Maybe we'll make it slightly open. So he's got a, a kind of a smirk going on. So we're going to curl up that lip edge there. And then just drop that shape a little bit more open across here, like so. And then up. And then further below again, just a little line in to indicate where the bottom lip sticks out slightly before it drops down into the chin. So with that done, 
we need to actually think about this visor. Now this whole zone is probably going to be a little bit more curved than the center line is giving it, like so. But it is essentially where the headband comes in for Naruto. So I'm going to add another line of headband that comes in around about here. Just on the inside edge. Another line of headband comes in up here. Like so. It doesn't have to be too perfect with the pencil. And then the actual plate that takes all the damage and so on, the armor, is going to be right slap bang in the middle. So I'm just zoning out where this armor plate is. It's not a perfect rectangle. It's ever so slightly curved on its edge lines. And then there's three screws that go in on the edge of either side to keep it in place. And then right in the middle, there's going to be uh, just a circle shape for now. This will become the leaf pattern, but it's much easier if you start off with a circle, draw that in, that means you know where most of it's going to be. And then you can have a diagonal line that goes from the top right, right through to the bottom left. And then on the bottom left hand side, join that up with a triangle. Like so, this is how you do your leaf symbol. And then now you know that this line follows here, comes all the way around, and actually just starts to curve in and becomes its own natural shape, and then eventually comes up and round. So if you draw that curving line, you've pretty much nailed how the leaf symbol is going to be. And then this bit down here just rubs out like so. But now that we know what's going on there, we need to crack on. So let's get some side burnt in. Down the outside edge, very thinly. There's going to be some more hair of Naruto, a bit of zig and zag, a bit of zig and zag as well down here. There's going to be some very basic ear shapes that go on up here like so. Just copy these shapes in, just one and two. And then same up here, goes up and around, a bit of an earlobe down there, and one and two. And then with Naruto as well, he's got all of that yellow spiky hair. So what I like to do is imagine another circle shape, and this is going to really sit on the same level as this circle but it's going to be a bigger ball if you imagine a bigger ball sitting behind this smaller one and just create a nice big curve almost as if you're going to give naruto a really big wide afro and uh, he doesn't have an afro he has spiky hair in the manga for those of you who've never heard of it and i understand because naruto's very much a very niche manga i don't think it's very big in japan or the states but uh, one day you might hear of it it might be big one day but it's certainly not that popular, which is why I'm teaching you all about it. Or am I being sarcastic? Who knows? So now that we've got this big afro shape, another kind of massive ball that's coming off the top of his head, we're actually going to use this to create um, the spikes of Naruto's hair. This will be our limit line. So coming in just inside the top of the head deflector here, I'm just going to drop down for a few lengths of hair. One there, one there, and then there's another one that comes off down to about the ear here. Does something very similar on the other side as well. Comes on down, doesn't go past the headband with the leaf symbol on it. And then a second one does come down, points towards the ear a little bit more, like so. And then on the outside edge, there's a bit just behind the ear, but we're basically just gonna count our way up in loads of zigs and zags. So come out one, come back in, come out, Come back in, zigging and zagging, just creating all these points. That's Naruto's hair in a nutshell. Lots of points. Don't go too far in and use that circle as your guideline all the way. I think it's probably going to go off the top of the page a bit. Something there, maybe. Something a bit here. And what I'm doing is I'm always using an actual picture of Naruto, but I've got just off screen that I'm looking at as a reference image. So just use that to help you understand this kind of spiky hair explosion that Naruto has going on. We get all those straight lines in. Excellent. And then some of that gets tucked back behind the headband. And then now, if we just drop down a bit, let's just give him a neck and some other stuff. So if we put that neckline on here, and then he's got this turtleneck ninja outfit of some sort that basically means it comes out to around about here. It's nice and thick. And then we're just going to join that up with a curve along the bottom that curves round and up. And then separate it right down the middle with a bit of a thick line. And let that thick line go all the way down off the page. And that's going to be the zip. 
So somewhere just below the chin, I'm going to just draw in a oblong shape. That will be the zip. Obviously, it has that little ring pull hole that goes in the bottom edge, and then the actual components in the middle. Just a rectangle in a circle if you want to keep it nice and simple. And then in terms of a zip shape, I think it probably zigzags something like this all the way down. That could probably be smaller or neater. But this is just a super quick, simple tutorial to get you the idea. Now, I'm going to draw a series of lines that follow the shape of this turtleneck going up and around. And as I get to the edge, I'm going to draw the lines a little bit closer together. Show the foreshortening. And then same on this side. Each one of these lines will be a guide for a little bit of the shape of the fabric and how it's weaved and knitted a bit closer at the edge. And then the shoulders are just going to come straight off round about here and around about here. Naruto from the Naruto Shippuden uh, area, he's basically an adult now. He's just grown into one. He's not a fully older man, but he's definitely a young adult with most of his powers going on by then in the series. So I'm just going to do a couple lines of creases round about there, just show where the sleeves come off. And then maybe just a line or two that comes round like so. Keeping it really simple though, because in Naruto a lot of that style is fairly simply done, fairly graphic. And then we'll just have a few tufts of hair. So it's going to be three cheeky little spikes. One, two, three that come out just around the back outside below the ears. And one, two, three, like so. Maybe the back of the headband where it's all tied up. Um, is a bit of a long bandana, so we might just have a bit of that flowing off, like so. But otherwise, that is essentially it. We'll just make sure we map in his weird mysterious marks that he has for being um, a fox child. So he has a line that kind of comes up in here. There's one that starts off a bit lower down up in here, and then one that's a little bit more level, just below the ear line, like so. I'll just make sure I do my best to map them similarly on the other side. There, there, and there. Excellent. That, this middle one can probably do getting moved a further bit up the cheek as well. So let's actually, where we've got it coming around there, we'll put this in a bit more like that. Excellent stuff. So that pretty much maps it out. I'm going to drop into time lapse, cover it in ink, pen it up, and then I'll see you guys right at the end. And so there you have it everybody, a nice, quick, simple image of Uzumaki Naruto. I'm going to scan it in and drop the hair into yellow, some skin tones, a silvered effect for the badge, and probably a charcoal grey for that combat sweater that he has going on, and some nice bright blue eyes. But I hope you guys have found it useful. Just a quick, straight to the point series of drawing some of your favourite characters. Get in the comments below, let me know who else you want to see. Don't forget to click subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time round. Bye bye!